Y'all. <laughs> oh my god! What the fuck was I thinking? day of vlogging so it is i want to say it's five it's like 11 o'clock true to form i'm feeling very impulsive let me sit y'all down i'm tired of holding y'all already like <laughs> the last few times i've done my hair i've let it air dry um but last night i wrapped it and i'm just i'm tired of it i'm tired of i need a change i need a change i've been doing this finger wave look for the last like four months and i'm tired of it so instead of doing something drastic, um, I'm going to put some faux locks in. So here comes my next dilemma. Um, because I'm feeling impulsive, I didn't think of this until around maybe like 8.30, 8 o'clock. I say 8 o'clock. And because of the pandemic, stuff closes earlier than it usually does. So I looked on the... I looked on Google to see when this beauty supply store that was near me closes. And it said it closed at 9, which was pre-COVID time. So I got there, like ran out of my house because I was trying to get some faux locks that was like blonde, that were blonde, like my color, like 613 or whatever. Um, get to the beauty supply store at like 830. It's closed. Then I was left to my third dilemma. Okay, I still want to do the faux locks, but... The only full locks I have in the dye that I have on hand is bright red. And I'll show you a picture of what I did before. They're like super bright red. And I knew that my job wouldn't be happy with me having that hair. And it would probably only be for a few days, but they still would kind of be upset. So next dilemma. I still want to do the full locks. <laughs> I still want to do the full locks, but I need to figure out how to make my hair brown um, because Along with having like a like a surplus of red faux locks, I have a surplus of brown, two, one, and four color locks already extended, like ready to go, just crocheting my hair. So I'm like, okay, how am I gonna get my hair to be brown? Um, be spice or it's closed, so I can't get like a semi-permanent dye. See, this is close. Only thing is open is Kroger. So I go to Kroger, I get some rubber bands. I got clear ones this time, I didn't get black. And then I'm in the aisle and I'm like, I really don't wanna do box dye. I just don't wanna do it. There's no need to put cream developer on my hair. I don't know what type of stuff they're using in the box dye. I haven't done box dye in a long time. So I'm like, I don't wanna do box dye. My, net, my only two options are to color my roots with like the root touch up. I would only do like my roots, like as if my roots were growing out, like an inch. That way, when I put it in the faux lock in, you'd only see the perimeter. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't do my whole head because I still want to be blonde for a little while longer. That was option one. Option two was, which I had the brilliant idea. And I'm sure before I say this, I'm not the first one to have this idea. I can guarantee it. However, I just feel like a motherfucking genius because I thought, okay, I can put the faux locks in, do all that, woo do woo do woo and then I can use that spray root cover up and just color my roots brown. Washes out so it wouldn't do any damage to my hair. And it'd be temporary. So, um, so I got root cover up. I got a two pack from, now the L'Oreal one was like $10.95 for one little can. I saw this next to this. This is the Clairol version. Ooh, this says black. That's fine. Hopefully it'll last for a good amount of time. And if it doesn't, I'm sure I can just like reapply it. Hopefully it doesn't like build up too much. But I got two of them. This was $10, right? This was $10.99 for the two pack. And then I got, I got two packs of Goody Clear Elastics. Um, and it says for fine hair because my hair is compromised 
a little bit. So I didn't want to make anything. I didn't want to like put too much pressure on my hair. So yeah, we're going to see if this works because actually I feel like it, I'm confident that the spray will work with my roots because it's only a little bit of area that I'm covering up. The only thing I'm kind of worried about is the back and sides of my hair. Maybe not the back so much because there's enough hair in the back. The sides of my hair, like from right here down, they're still a little short. So I don't know if I'm going to have, I feel like I will, but my only concern is that I might not have enough hair to hold an elastic, to hold the lock in place. Um, But yeah, hopefully this doesn't take that long because I don't have any hair on my head. So usually when I do this style, um, I have to like two strand twist my hair and do all this like crazy stuff. I'm literally only doing rubber bands. Um, and I'm gonna, I feel like I'm probably gonna free part it. Meaning like I'm just gonna grab hair and just start making like little sections or whatever. That's probably what I'm gonna do just to save some more time. But yeah, I'm excited to have a new hairstyle. I'm not gonna lie to you. This is very impulsive of me, but this is not, like I said, this is very true to form. I do shit like this all the fucking time. Hence why I literally have no hair on my head right now. So yeah, let's get started. Um, I'm probably going to speed this up. I might even, I'm probably not going to show y'all me putting my hair into rubber bands because y'all can do that. But I will let y'all see what it looks like um, because I also, I have a video when I've already kind of did this whole thing, um, I'll link it in the description bar. Also, I'll put a card up here, one of these two. Um, Cause I've kind of already showed you guys how to do or how I do my faux locks, especially my, um, and my extended faux locks. So, don't wanna bore y'all. So this is really not gonna be another tutorial. But yeah, okay, um, I'm gonna start. I literally went out in the rain, like it's pouring down raining. And I went out to get supplies. <laughs> to do my hair at 11 o'clock at night. Granted, this is a lot earlier than I usually have these like impulses. Usually it'll be like two, three, four o'clock in the morning. I'd be like, ooh, pink hair would be cute. <laughs> but all right, I'll see y'all when I have my hair ready to be crochet. Okay, so I look, I look ridiculous right now. It is, 106 in the morning. <laughs> I started at 1140. It was a lot more involved than I thought I was gonna be. Um, I blow dried the back of it. I ended up the whole front part. I did while like I, I wet my hair like to wash the gel out. Um, I didn't wash it. I just rinsed it with water. I didn't wash my hair because um, it was clean from the other day. And I did the whole front part of my hair. The first like three four rows back. Three rows back. I did it um, wet. The back, I hope you can see. Yeah, you can see. That's kind of how it looks. I'm gonna give you this side. Uh, I'm tired and I wanna get this over with. I, However, I didn't do the back, like the lower half of my hair because I just, it's too short and I'm just gonna like wet it, have it curl up. I'm gonna get started on the locks. I counted out how many I have and I have 28. So I know I don't have enough. So if my count is correct, I have 46 parts of my hair. I knew I wasn't gonna be able to do 28. I just, there's no way. So should I do red? No, I'm not gonna do red. I'm gonna do the blonde. I think I have enough. I'm gonna do the ones that I have first. I'm gonna do black in the front, I think. Yeah, I'm gonna do black in the front. I might do a few brown. I might do the front pieces brown, just the front too. And then the rest I'm gonna do black. Hopefully I have enough. I really hope I have enough. Y'all. <laughs> oh my god! What the fuck was I thinking? So, just a few things we need to talk about right now. One, 
the locks are finished, okay? That's number one. I'm gonna do the positives first. Um, I ended up finding extra hair. So at first I counted 28 that I had. I had a few gray locks that I have left over in my hair. I took them out because I just, it, it, it looked too, the gray, the 27 color, the brown, the black, it just didn't look right. So I was like, I'm gonna just put them in my hair because I'm a fucking crackhead. I still wanted to do this style. I was like, I'm gonna put them in and I'm gonna figure it out on the way. Uh, I was I was planning on going to the Beast Boy store this morning um, and getting some more hair. But then I was like, oh, I remember I have water wave hair that I could use. I don't like using water wave hair, but I was like, I could use it because I just really don't feel like leaving my house. Then when I looked inside the little cubby I have for like my hair cubby or whatever in my little organizer, I found two more packs of locks that I didn't use that were like left over I guess from another style so I had literally just enough there's one in here I think it's in this bun it's this one I think yep it's literally this one I have one that is like the regular 18 inch length um because I just can't be axed another plus uh the spray worked I think it's still drying um so we're gonna leave it to dry completely as i was doing it first off the negatives this shit took me this is the longest i have ever spent on my hair ever period like ever in my entire life that i can remember i started this last night it was what like 11 30. i took a few breaks and when i say few i mean like one um, to eat a few bites and then I was back into doing my hair 11 30 at like maybe two o'clock last night I was like what the fuck am I doing <laughs> what the fuck am I doing whose idea was this and why did I think this was gonna work I was literally feeling so defeated because my hair in the back my hair at the top was fine I had no issues with the top of my hair it was the back and the sides of my hair that are still kind of like not fully long enough okay and i was like what am i gonna do i blow dried it and everything and it's still just <laughs> it took me a long fucking time like i said at two o'clock in the morning i looked in the mirror and i said i'm going to sleep i'm gonna sleep on it i had had maybe like two thirds of my hair done i say like two thirds i had maybe like 18 little plaits left and i was like i'm gonna go to sleep and i'm gonna feel rejuvenated in the morning to finish my hair right so i did it it's now though i woke up at 11 to start right it's now three o'clock i spent seven seven hours on my hair i feel sick to my stomach I literally feel sick to my stomach. I've spent less time putting 70 locks in my hair. Long, I've spent less time doing my long hair in full locks, braiding it up, everything, plait. That makes me sick to my stomach. But um, it doesn't look terrible. I would be okay walking outside looking like this. Um, the spray worked like i said however um on this side i don't know if you guys will be able to see it but like it wasn't really spraying the full opacity um of the color yet i did this side first um until i got to this side then this side is like fully black um so it doesn't look bad it looks better than what i had like the fucking bleach blonde color because that was making me literally want to take everything out and just say fuck it because my edges that were out looked with the color of the hair it just looked crazy you hear me so yeah i got it done i left the sides out i just gelled them down um i sprayed it on my edges and everything and like brushed it through like with like an edge brush um, it's still very stark black, but um, it's not blonde. So it did a really good job of covering up my blonde. 
um like i said i left both sides because this is just not long enough on both sides to do one here and then i don't even know what the back looks like so if it looks crazy i don't care okay um i left the whole back bottom row out um i left the whole back out so like you can kind of see like i kind of left like a line where it was just not about to happen with me and locks putting it in back there it's just it wasn't about to happen um but yeah i got them all in i'm very happy about it i'm probably going to be wearing this either up like how I have it half and half or down covering everything on my imperfections because <laughs> there are many I also did not spray the back of my head because say it with me I don't care okay I don't care I really do not care um that's why I put it like half up half down so like hopefully it'll kind of cover it if it doesn't um, but yeah, I'm happy to have a new style. It's probably not gonna last for a long time, but I am disappointed that I forgot to, that I didn't oil my scalp. I usually always oil my scalp right after I put the locks in, but I was just weary that the spray wouldn't stick to my hair if I had oil in it. So I didn't do it. Um, however, I highly suggest oiling your scalp, fully oiling every little square of oil whatever oil you like to use a whole oil i have oil for my friend's line that i use um anything um just so that it stays moisturized because this hair can really dry out your hair <sighs> i just i can't believe i didn't i could not see the end of the tunnel i could not see the light at the end of the tunnel it just it wasn't it wasn't working for me in my eyes last night because all I could see was blonde blonde roots blonde edges um it was a mess I am a little disappointed that the spray sprayed on my roots on my scalp um it sprayed on my scalp and I'm hoping that that goes away or later on when, like when it dries completely i can kind of like do what i just did with like a q-tip and just kind of go in between and wipe away the excess but um that's the only thing that's kind of bothering me right now because it looks like i have a wig on so that's not the goal but yeah i'm so happy literally you guys don't understand i've never been this stressed out with a hairstyle before in my life literally ever um so i'm just happy that it's all over but yeah, um, still have pieces, like, I literally still have one, I don't know if you can see it, I have one where I didn't, like, wrap it again, don't care, I'll do that another day, um, I've done enough work for the last seven hours that I just don't want to do anything else with my hair right now, um, if you know me, I'm very low maintenance, so to spend seven hours on my hair, unknowingly, um, um and yeah i'm i haven't eaten it's 3 15 and i haven't eaten anything since last night i'm starving and i picked up jamaican on the way back coming from kroger last night um didn't even really get a chance to enjoy that because my mind was set on getting my hair done last night i would have been up all night if i like if i kept going I'm gonna eat, I'm going to warm up my food. I'm on bed rest for the rest of the day because um, this just took a lot of out of me and my soul. <laughs> and I just can't be asked to do anything today. So yeah, um, also I work tomorrow. So this is like my last day off. So um, I'm gonna eat. I'm literally fucking starving. I'm still not sold on this hair. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. Maybe it'll look better when I have my makeup done. But, um, <laughs> I've been asleep for a minute, okay? Um, I was exhausted, mentally, physically, emotionally exhausted from doing my hair. So I took a needed nap. And then I just came back from McDonald's. I really, let me just vent for a second because. 
This is not an Oreo McFlurry. Okay, this is not how I want it to be. I want it to be mixed. I don't want it to be in this cup. You feel me? Like, I want it to be fully mixed up. So, it's just like they put some Oreo at the bottom. Ice cream, Oreo, ice cream. Like, it's not a parfait. It's a McFlurry. I guess I should be thankful that um they at least have ice cream. Because I was craving it. So, I would have been upset if they'd have been like, our ice cream machine is down. So, beggars can't be choosers, I guess. But, um... I'm probably gonna end this vlog here. I need to clean my room. Um, my room is literally in shambles. But yeah. I really didn't do anything today. The goal was to finish my hair and that was achieved. Small goals. So, um, that's all for today's vlog. And I will Ew, why did I do that? I will see you guys 